feels like time is going faster than it seems We were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream We could see no reason but we should ever try to go to sleep Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is actually going to be part two of my clean and decorate with me. We're currently in my dining room. You guys see I have lots of like Target bags on there of some items that I recently picked up to decorate this room. A lot of the fall decor was actually inspired by a lot of the things they had in the hearth and hand collection and different things like that. So I'll go ahead and show you what I purchased, how I decorate it, clean this room up a little bit. We are also going to be doing my little breakfast nook area. And then after that, it is going to be time for my whole house to be complete and I can then share with you guys the fall home tour so I'll film that today right after this video so you guys can stay tuned for that real soon be sure to thumbs up if you enjoy clean and decorate with me so this way I can plan out some more for the holiday season and all that good stuff consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future home and lifestyle videos and let's get cleaning and decorating so the last two areas that I like to cover on my main level are my dining room and my breakfast nook. We're going to start off with the dining room since this, of course, was the most decor that I added for this particular day. So I'm clearing off all the things on the table. We mainly have lots of schoolwork because I'm going to be prepping for Mila's homeschooling in a couple of days. So I was getting things together, gathering things up. I do have to turn basically this dining room into her learning space. So I figured I would decorate early on. This way I can share with you guys some ideas, but generally this entire table is going to be cleared off besides like the centerpiece that's why I tried to keep it pretty simple and then I am just going to be putting away all of my china after filming this probably just keep it up for about a week and then she's already going to start homeschooling Said we'd be on forever You taught me how to love And nothing could be better than you and me You and me, baby, it was you and me We could never fall But nobody could break us here I thought we had it all Take me back to when it was you and me You and me, baby after I've removed some of the bins and things that didn't belong in this area to make room for a little console in there, I went ahead and vacuumed any dust or dirt that might have been on the floor. And then I'm going to be bringing in something that I actually used to have in my office. It's just basically like an open type of like shelf. And I'm going to be using this to place some of her, her bins as well as the printer and all of that stuff since I'm going to be turning into basically, like I said, the homeschooling station over here in this corner and adding different bins with additional markers, all of that good stuff but needs a full-on organization, but for now, I just placed it right on top. Then I went ahead and removed my additional decor that I had that I pretty much keep yearly. I'm going to give that mirror always a really good wipe down before storing it away. I'll put it away for the particular season. And then when it comes time that that's over, I go ahead and put my traditional decor back on out. So wiping everything down, storing it away, I'm going to get rid of this runner as well. Since like I said, I want to keep it pretty simple so I can just leave the centerpiece in the center and then the rest of it we're just going to be using for Mila's workspace and then I'm going to be placing the other items in storage and then give this table a good wipe down. So for the centerpiece, I had this idea that I would take a wreath and actually use it as the base, and then I would fill all of the additional items right in the center. This way it stays nice and compact. I found these beautiful glass vases over at Target. They had three different sizes, which was so perfect and fit excellent into here. And then I also got these faux leaves and different florals from Target as well that I thought looked really nicely, and it tied in together with the whole color scheme that I'm going with for this year that you guys saw in my living room and kitchen and all of that stuff. No. 
up, said we'd be on forever. You taught me how to love, and nothing could be better than you and me, you and me, baby. As you can see, I use my traditional china from our wedding that I use every single time I decorate. And then usually I switch things up with like the chargers, the napkins, and the napkin rings. Unfortunately, I didn't find any chargers that I love this year to switch it up. But I did find these gorgeous napkins in the hearth and hand collection as well as the napkin rings. I thought it was so pretty bringing in the soft amber, the rust, as well as the wooden handles. I think it tied in perfectly and gave the whole natural vibe. And then I just wanted to give you guys a close up to see how pretty this looked, the different textures, as well as the soft colors, I think tied in beautifully with the whole tablescape. So I'm just adding them to each of the play settings. And normally we actually used to host Thanksgiving. So I think this would transition beautifully for that if you're having guests over. And then these really adorable candle holders, I think can also work not just for the fall season, but if you wanna decorate different areas in your home. And they were quite affordable. I was able to snag an additional 15% off coupon. So that is always great and then the candles also tied in nicely with the faux florals Honestly, for this side table, I wanted to keep it pretty simple. So I just had this bowl that I actually found, I want to say about two weeks ago. And I placed just normally I have like my keys and things in there, but I decided to make it a little fall like just adding some filler as well as the mini pumpkin. I'm going to be placing a chalkboard in here. So I didn't want to go too crazy with any decorating. And then moving on to our breakfast nook area. This is the catch all station. <laughs> I feel like the more tables you have, the more things there are to accumulate. So I just had to clear off a bunch of different things that were mine and mics and put away some things in our kitchen and then I'm going to give it a good wipe down and change out this centerpiece So for this centerpiece, I once again tied in some of the color schemes that I have going on through the rest of the house. I found this cute tiny little planter, same thing, full florals. And this pumpkin was so adorable. I felt like it gave like a really cute boho vibe. I absolutely loved it. Unique. It's lightweight. So if the kids are playing around there, I don't have to worry. And then you guys know my favorite fall scent is leaves. So I had a second one of these. I felt like the packaging on it looked perfect in this whole color scheme of the tray. And then I just add a couple more of those fillers that I had some extras up on there and I think it turned out great. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed watching. Hit that little subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. I would love to have you and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!